Hello, and welcome to the College Humor Podcast. Uh, if you're joining us on CH2, that's great. But you can also watch us a bit earlier on our favorite way to watch podcasts, Dropout. So go to dropout. Go to dropout.tv and subscribe. See, you know it's live because we didn't cut that out. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you for having thank us. You for yeah, us. you're welcome. Thank guys. you for inviting us into your home. Yeah, thank you for coming into my home. I know it's kind of too nice, but uh, anything for you guys. Uh, I'm joined here by a few familiar faces. Katie Maravich. Mm-hmm. I'm Reka Shankar. <laughs> I'm Grant O'Brien. And I'm Katie Maravich. <laughs> wow, Katie, you sound really different. Thank you so much. It's yeah. a pleasure to be here. See, that's a joke that only our dropout subscribers are going to get. <laughs> Everyone else is going to be like, oh, Katie's on twice. Got it. Yeah. But to but the, no, to the dropout uh, viewer, uh, you'll I see mean, exactly I can't lie. I'm only here once. The people on CH2 will get that joke also. Yeah, but we're going to block out who his face is. Honestly, <laughs> great. <laughs> fuck Just CH2. put a big emoji <laughs> over it. I've been saying fuck CH2 for years. Yes. Um, would you like to say your alternate identity? Yes, I'm Josh Rubin. It's a Woo! pleasure to be here. Hello. Yeah. Heaven. Party. Uh, yeah. Nice. What a fun time to be together. Isn't it nice? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it great? I, I took a it. picture of it and everything. Cause oh. it's, it's my first time. Katie, yes. I know it's your third. Right? It's my first. third time. So. Yeah, it's my second. Grant, what it's number are you at, bud? Oh, uh, in terms of being on the College Humor podcast, Not just any number and any anything. Really. Forty-five. Ah, oh my heaven. God! Wow, wow your like our president. president. <laughs> oh, <laughs> happy birthday! Can you sing happy birthday? Is it the league? That's uh, uh, happy uh, birthday is copyright. That's true. You no, can't not, do that. No, not anymore. It's not the most anymore. We can sing happy birthday. Is oh. it his birthday today? I think it was some time like a few days ago. Oh, that's true. He's a Gemini. It's fucked. of course he's a Gemini. Oh. Well, now what does that mean? Because I because that's Aren't a Gemini Gemini excuse me it means they've got two personalities. Gemini is most hated. People do not like Gemini. Yes, I dated. I went on. I won't say I dated. I went on a few dates with a guy mm. who's a Gemini. He was so fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a really now you weird know guy. that this is pretend and doesn't mean anything, right? Right. Astrology. Come on. You know how Come it's on. pretend and, and, Wait, uh, and lie. Let's each other's signs sure. unless we already know them. I'm obvious. <laughs> what? I'm obvious. Yeah, well, you're obviously time, a Capricorn. No, I'm not. You're I'm, an Aquarius. I'm Aquarius. Every time I tell that to people, they're like, of course you are, because you're a robot alien. People, uh, people friend- say alien when it comes to Aquarius. Are you for Aquarius? Some reason. No, I'm, I'm a Cancer, and I'm dating a Gemini, which is like a tote Uh-oh. no-no. Are they like yeah. a two-face? Are they like... Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. She, you? she, her birthday's May twenty fourth, so she's right at the beginning. <gasps> That's my brother's birthday. Oh what my on god. earth? Do you guys get along? Oh then my we'll god! Really know. Wait, can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> it is my oldest brother's birthday, May twenty fourth. Is this a thriller? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> Wait, when's your birthday? I can't say the name of, of the movie, but it may have er, Leota. Um <laughs> I yeah, but I'm a Cancer sensitive, mm-hmm. but I'm an early Cancer. They say it's like the most stubborn and least sensitive of and the. What is of it? the cancers, Thursday. June thirtieth. <gasps> it's, it's coming, coming up. Right up. Wait yeah. a minute. Have a party? I share it with Vincent D'Onofrio and Mike Tyson. <gasps> oh wait, oh. am I not supposed to say either of those? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> no, I think you're allowed to say the names of people. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> okay, it's cool. liable it's to a say fact. their birthdays. Um, <laughs> it's a fact. I do have a question. Are you going to have a birthday party? Uh, mm, I don't. I don't know. Maybe like maybe at my mom's house. There you go. See, what? true cancer. Can you say mom? Yeah. Don't okay. say mom. That's it. I hate. My mom made me stop having birthday parties for myself after I t- turned double digits. She said, no. you, she said you're too old. Oh, oh my God. I think yeah. you can Mommy always dearest. have a birthday. I'm very pro birthday. I think you can Me always too. have a birthday. Yeah, I agree. Wait, Grant, what are you? I'm a Taurus. Oh, it makes perfect sense. Uh, sure. Does it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sex, you're... food, wear buds. You like being home, like a bath. I do. I do like being home. That is yeah. actually my tourist friend is very much like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not. You know, traveling. Where's there to go? Mm. No thanks. I'm right, all set. Right. Mm. Tourists and cancer is funny because t- cancers are also like the quite shelly. You know what I mean? They like being yeah. home, like the home at cancer and tourists. Classic. Uh, classic, classic combo. Duo. Classic Peanut combo. Jelly. But Grant doesn't believe it. So no, well, it's a lie. We just it's, it's a, a it's a lie we facts. tell ourselves to feel like a member of a tribe. All, all right. right. Huh. Breaker, what are you? What I'm an Aries. Ah, uh, April or uh, April. March. April. April 3rd. Yes. Whoa. I'm very, uh, people say Aries are like aggressive and bossy and mean. No. And like, no. you're not. I might be. I, might I think, be. I here's what I think Rake is. Nice, funny, and the best. <laughs> Sounds like an Aquarian to me. What if there was just a minute of full silence? <laughs> <laughs> full silence. 
<laughs> should we try? Should we, should we just have a, should we get, put a minute of full silence in right now? Yeah, yeah say, say your line again. Okay, so in my world, Reika is nice, funny, and the best. <sighs> okay. No, oh, no. He's not like that. Uh, guys, someone say something. <clears throat> someone say something. This is. <clears throat> so, anyway, Kingpin Katie came out on Monday. It launched. Um, on Monday, just yes, uh, two days ago, you can watch the first episode now. Oh. Um, okay. All right. Should we, should we move on to? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, I have to leave. Reka. Reka, why are you so angry? I can tell. You're doing your sighing thing, like you're mad mad at me um so anyway king van katie that's awesome Katie. <clears throat> yeah that's great you. That's, <laughs> cool. that's congratulations dropout dot tv or dropout tv dot drop tv dot tv mm, heaven um did it feel great having a premiere yes it was extremely exciting oh. um and yeah every monday we'll have a new episode i watched it on my tv with my husband and the entire time Brag. Brag. that i have a tv, TV. <laughs> 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 um that i um, anyway, the entire time, both of us were just sitting there, like, smiling, like, the biggest smile. It was very funny. I, like, noticed Aww. it. I was like, oh, we're loving this. <laughs> so That's cute. It was That's very, very fun cute. to That's very see. sweet. Yeah. The um, trailer makes it look like I have a much bigger part in it than I do. <laughs> That's great. I think all of my lines are in the trailer. Yeah. Same. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which, which is, which is, which is me just saying not, thank you. Know, a launching platform for Grant and myself. <laughs> <laughs> or Josh, really, if you think well, about it. Josh, it feels tense. It had, feels tense. It's just, what are we going to get from it? Okay. I it want is called King Pin King. King. Like, yeah, you know, I know. And I want to workshop that title right now. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. I wasn't yes. in it. Was that a choice or that not? That was or? a choice. Okay. Yes, it was a de- okay. decision from all of us. We thought about putting you in. We said no, okay. no. I grew my hair out and everything. I have crush hair, like high school crush hair. Yeah. It's kind of like a continuing audition. Season two auditions? No. No, no. You're not going to be. In it. Role for anyone in season two auditions? You're never going to be in it. So. No role for anyone with season two auditions? Okay. No, no, no. Not you. Not for you. Huh. Yeah. Should we do? Well, that's uh, great. Yeah. Thank you very much. But not you. How's right. your life changed since it's been out? Oh, my oh, God. That's a yes. great question. Do people and, recognize uh, you more? Do you no. Nothing has Joe's changed. Nothing? Um, my parents liked it, <gasps> which is the <laughs> bigger I point. swear to God, that's all the validation. That's great. I, would need. I know. Well, because, yes, my parents are um, they're good at telling the truth, which is something that I, uh, I like. But when they say, like, this was good, I know that it's good. good. What are their I, signs? I um, they're both one November tw- 17th, one November 21st. Uh, so Lion Leo. Scorpio. Scorpios? Yeah, Scorpios. I don't know. Isn't they, they cut off the twentieth? Wouldn't they be different signs? Oh. Uh, actually, it's the twenty-first. Uh, oh, so actually, they might be because they're my, Scorpios. Okay, they are yeah. Scorpios. Are they Otherwise, emotional? They, they have big eyes. They, my, uh, my dad has little beady eyes, hmm. and then my mom has giant eyes, okay. and then I'm. Somewhere in between. Did you say <laughs> eyes? Yeah, eyes. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So if you can see, see only our dropout. <laughs> subscribers are going to see Katie's eyes. Again, yeah. that's right. also gonna, on CH2. We're going to block that, that out that on CH2. On CH2. Yeah, we should block that out on yeah, CH2. Yeah, we're going to put bars up. I don't, I don't want people Two seeing emojis my eyes. Two emojis of They're not on drop <laughs> Can you say emoji? I don't know. No. Yeah, I think so. Um, cool, guys. Well, yeah. that's exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Thank it's you. Allie was outside talking about show. how pretty it looks, how gritty it looks. Yes. That it's like, she was like, comedy doesn't look like that. And it's like, well, it is a comedy and it looks quite yeah. gritty. I'm very excited to see it. Yay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I think I was quite good at it. Okay. Well, speaking of that, (laughs) why don't we uh, move on to our... Okay, we can move on to that. (laughs) 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 I was going to move on to our little game. Let's do our game. Okay. I just want... I need it to... You need it to... to There was a little too much attention on me. Cool. Well, let's... Yes. It's always weird reaching Jump for the game. In, the yeah, table. I can't really speak and do that at the same time. So we are going to play a round of Psychic Game Show. Uh, so I'm going to read the instructions here. Uh, 
although it is one we have played before. In this game, we will take turns drawing cards that each have a question on them, and that person will read the question silently. The rest of the group will guess the answer to the question before they know what the question is. Afterward, right. we'll re reveal the question and decide who is closest. Hmm. Perfect. Cool? Um, Katie, do you want to go first? I would love to. Okay, great. So just flip this. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. And, yeah that's where the instructions are. Okay. <clears throat> and only drop out viewers are going to see that. That, oh, yeah. All right. We're going to block um, it out. So you're, you're absorbing yes, the question. Yes, I know right? the okay. question. Okay. And I'm thinking so, of it. So everyone. Okay, can I just. Okay. Everyone yes. look at Katie's face, yeah. see if they can Let's try see to if like, we can. guess the question. Okay. Let's, okay. See, okay. I'm Let's look some, silently for one minute. Well, okay. hang on now. Her knees are shaking. So that's just Well, I'm an anxious person. Got it. Okay, I got an answer. I think that's something to do with that. Yeah, I think I have an answer also. Okay. Yeah, me too. I just sent it to Reka, so I really hope you get it. Okay. My brain sent it to you. Okay. Stripes. No. Uh, Wait, let me send it to you. Okay. Did it. Oh, man, Katie. That's filthy. No. That's okay, filthy. definitely wrong. <laughs> what you just sent me is filthy. Oh, no. My answer I, is filthy. I, My I, answer is filthy, too. Yeah, that's weird. Josh okay. and I have the same answer. What are your answers? Filthy. Fil well, the word filthy? Was that your answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, oh, let's say our answer at the same time in the count of three. I mean, you could say it again. I'll say mine. Let's do it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. New York Mice. City. Mice in New York City? Yeah. Wow, those are pretty related. And then mine's stripes. Stripes would have been... None of these are close. None what is the question? At all. The question is, is why a vowel? And the answer is sometimes. Uh, I think stripes, because stripes are sometimes. Yes. Sometimes they're one and sometimes they're another. That's true. That's true. It's like I that think dress. New York City because it has a Y in it. No. Okay. I think mice because it has two vowels in it. <laughs> yeah. M Y two Y's C Y. In it. <laughs> Perfect. I can go next. Well, who won? Stripes? I think I won. Stripes, yeah. Or Rika won. Stripes are sometimes. Rika That's abs horseshit. Rika absolutely won. I call okay. you Rika. <laughs> Sorry. Rika. Okay. Yeah, I'm sending you the question. Okay. Blue. I'm going to guess blue. Okay. All right. Rika, that's filthy. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> uh, my answer is sandbag. Sandbag. <laughs> okay. Wild. Uh, uh, CBD is medical. Okay. The question was, where do hippos live? <laughs> the answer is sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, sandbag. And I do think yeah. there's sand yeah. in sub-Saharan yeah. Africa. So I, I think do Grant, think Grant won. Grant yeah. is pretty That's close. Pretty good. Yeah. Sh do I get the card? Is that how that works? No. Sure. All right. I'll take oh. my card then. Okay. okay. I did not look at this question, so I'm keep going. Passing it along. All right. <clears throat> All right. Now here we go. Okay. I'm going to guess... Don't say blue. Bubble gum. All right. <laughs> uh, Rick, I'm sending it to you. Okay. Oh, wait, you didn't send it to me before. I did. I just didn't, you know, okay. announce. Yeah, I, I can just do things. I don't have to announce what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to guess a horse's tail. Okay. Ooh, hot. Huh. I was going to say, what's oh, the hottest part of a horse? Yeah, you I got it, right? Got one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you got it. What is the hottest you think part? So? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I say it now? Say it. Okay, for CH2 tote bag, uh, a blank <laughs> white space. Okay. Oh. Uh, the question is, who is the youngest person to become the president of the United States? Oh. The answer is Theodore Roosevelt at the age of 42. Which I think is pretty close to what I said. Because oh, no. he had a big bushy yes. mustache. I'm going to need you all to remind me what you said because I've forgotten. I said, said bubblegum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Uh -huh. mm. I said a horse's tail. Uh -huh. uh, that's quite like a mustache. I said a blank white space. Well, it, it is Reka, but only because Teddy Roosevelt was in the Rough Riders, not because of his big bushy mustache. Yes. Oh. That, looks like like, that looks like a horse's tail. That looks like a horse's tail. That's something else. That's exactly okay. what's different. I like this game, even though I'm failing. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Okay. All right. It's a great amount of silence in this episode. Send it. Yeah, that's what I like about this. Mm. Is, uh, sending it to He's sending it to Grant. Send it to Grant. Sure. Um, I, and then my answer is going to be uh, 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 House of Cards. Okay. I'm sending it to you guys. Okay. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> the Queen. Hmm. Um, sailboat. Sailboat, the Queen, House, House of, of Cards. Cards. It's all kind of British. Ooh, sounding. I hope it's a British thing. I think I'm going to need your help here because <clears throat> the question is how many Japanese yen equal one U.S. dollar? <laughs> uh, and the answer is $108.51. $108.51. Oh, right. 
So well, what did I say? Sailboat. That's about sailboat. how much a sailboat costs. And yeah. what did you say? House of Cards. And I said the Queen. The Queen is the on queen currency. Feels quite yeah, right. There's true. True. I mean, that's. Yeah, I mean, that's a I good guess point. I, I, I think that's. I think that's right. I think that's. I think that's good at this. Uh, I'm, giving, I'm giving. Yeah, it but I just looked at it. So did I'll you just look at it? Well, I looked at the one on the bottom, but I'll forget about it. Don't say it. Okay. I shouldn't have said anything. All right, should we just do this rapid fire? Yes. Okay. Uh, mice. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Grant. Jesus. The queen. Shit. Uh, uh, Jews. <laughs> Jews. <laughs> Jews. Jews. It's going to be what's the hottest part it of is, a horse. Is it safe to eat expired protein powder? Yes. I said mice. See, he said Jews. I <laughs> feel like it's mice the queen. because, because spoiled would. food attracts rodents. Yeah. <laughs> Here. I, didn't, I did not look. Okay, great. All right, rapid fire. Um, uh, rainbow. Uh, the sandbag. <laughs> sandbag. Uh, a waltz, like a dance. Okay. The question is, what is the best television series ever made? So rainbow, rainbow sounds like reading rainbow. Waltz sounds or like cares. um. Um, what the fuck am I thinking of? The last waltz, like the the, 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 the concert waltz. film. Is there like a sitcom? Mm. No, there's not. Okay, great. And what did you uh, say? You I said, said sandbag. I said which sandbag, sounds like the sandlot. Which is sort of like Breaking Bad. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Katie. <laughs> In that there. Yay! Oh, for yeah. reading Rainbow. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yes, heaven. thank you. I'm so glad I got a call. All right. Uh, great. I have Fast. A, yeah. What do you got? Uh, roller skates. Okay. Uh, mice. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Stop saying mice. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, the question is, who was the first woman to win the Iditarod Trail sled dog race? <gasps> it is Libby Riddles. Riddles. Uh, and I feel like um, it's it's skating. roller skates because yeah. that's a, a, yeah, a, a so mode a of transportation. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, I almost feel like it's mice because mice are really just small dogs. No. Uh, now explain. In, in what sense? <laughs> Mouse is a small dog. You can't just say, it, you can't in a say it in a different voice. voice. That isn't Rico, explaining. Not okay, rapid fire. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Last yeah. one. Okay. Uh, the when I was a boy, <laughs> oh, uh, I um, belonged to a swimming c- club, I suppose, a swimming pool. Uh, and when we were, um, you know, we'd spend our summers there laughing and uh, and running. Uh, and You're not supposed to run at the no, pool. No, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna ask everyone to recap too. Sure. <laughs> uh, Just remember your answers. We'd, we'd spend we'd spend our days, you know, uh, uh, with such joy and such such promise of youth. Um, and so I suppose my answer would have to be a uh, tennis racket. Huh. Mice. Huh. I'll say um, mouse, singular. Huh. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I got to say, I think I think this goes to Grant. Uh, first of all, there's some extra text on here. This is questions for the Psychic Game Show tomorrow. Can these be put on cards, please? <laughs> oh, no. Followed by. Oops. Oops. Uh, <laughs> when was the last day of Lent? April 9th. I kind of feel I like I think it is Grant. Yeah. Feel like Grant. Yeah. It was because it was like he you started answering on April 9th and now it's like What if you gave up mice for Lent? I don't know. Okay. Or a mouse, a, sing, a single mouse. This well, we did it. We that was wonderful. One. Oh, you have one more? Uh, yeah, and, and, no, and those here's are the, the rules. question. And here are the instructions for the game. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> and that concludes good. Psychic Game Show. Yay! That was what a wonderful time. That was great. Uh, guys, now we're moving on to our next little thing. Yay. Rejected Sketch Theater. Yes. Yes, um, indeed. So, today's Rejected Sketch is courtesy of Grant O'Brien. Oh, my God. Now, Grant... Let's hear a little backstory about this sketch. Sure. So this is a sketch I wrote for the College Humor uh, uh, Shining series that we did, what, a a year or two ago? Yeah, it was like 20... 17 uh, Halloween or something? Yeah, we like to do some Halloween series once in a while, and this year we did our version of The Shining. Um, and we all got together, we watched The Shining, and we picked out like funny yeah. scenes, or not funny scenes, but interesting scenes. We went to sketches based on. Yeah, correct. Got it, got it, got it. We, we were over at Sam's house, it was yeah. wonderful. Uh, he has great pets. Uh, <laughs> and I uh, wrote two sketches for that. Uh, one I wrote that we made um, is. Uh, Trap, who was Jack Nicholson um, in in this, being very annoying to the ghost bartender. Yeah. Um, and uh, one uh, other one that I wrote is this. Um, <laughs> this sketch is based on the scene uh, in The Shining when Jack Nicholson uh, finds a, a, a woman in a tub. Uh, yeah. Go see The Shining in theaters. <laughs> yeah, uh, the in theaters? I don't know. Uh, what? Right. Sure, it's probably going to be in the theaters at some point. Um, is it like Booksmart? 
It's, yeah. it's a lot like Booksmart. It's Olivia Wilde's debut movie. Um, <laughs> so this is sketch right Now, uh, uh, much like that scene, there's no dialogue. It's all visuals. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to read through um, the visuals that I that I wrote for this. Yes. And just so you get you get a visual. And again, this is only for Dropout subscribers. And, this and is CH2 what the sketch. Is, we're going to black this out for them. This is what the sketch looks like. It is Cover called emojis. Grant Finds True Love. That's right. And if I'm not mistaken, there's no casting. There's no casting. It's 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 all stage direction. Okay. Uh, 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 Take us through. Sure. Uh, interior, room 237, night. The music is full of sturm and drang. Grant <laughs> enters the hotel room, the one they've all been warned about. His look is hard to read. Is it fear? Is it excitement? Rage? He makes his way past the bed to the restroom. The door is ajar. Inside, the shower curtain is drawn part way. Even with his obscured view, he can see the long, live legs of a young woman. She senses his presence and draws back the curtain. They make eye contact. She is beautiful. She stands. Though she's naked, she's not self-conscious. Rather, she seems to welcome Grant's gaze, inviting him to take in her body with his eyes. She steps out of the tub and goes to him. He's stunned by her beauty and can't move. He reaches out and touches his face. She reaches out and touches his face. Carefully, so as not to break the surface whatever, of whatever glorious pond might be reflecting this perfect image, Grant lays a hand on her hip, <laughs> then another. She pulls him in for a kiss. <laughs> Grant closes his eyes and surrenders to the moment. He brings his hand to her head and runs his fingers through her lush hair. As he pulls his hand away, a couple of strands come with it. <laughs> Noticing... He opens his eyes. She is transformed. She's now an impossibly old woman. Her body is bloated as if it's been underwater for ages. She has weeping sores. Her skin starts to look like it will slip right off. She starts laughing. It is a cracked, horrifying laugh. Grant looks at her. He considers this. A little smile cracks across his face. He starts laughing too. This makes her laugh more, which in turn feeds his laughter. They're laughing together. A song begins, Islands in the Stream by Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. She's still laughing. They sweetly kiss again. Cut. The old woman's head hits a pillow. Grant leans into frame and kisses her. They're on a bed, backlit through the window by beautiful moonlight. We see them from overhead. Grant is in tight black boxer briefs laying on top of the old lady. <laughs> He, he tenderly runs his hand up her side. Some of her skin comes off as he does. They giggle. The old lady wears a blindfold. Grant runs a rose sensually down her face and across her withered lips. She gasps with anticipation. Grant wears a blindfold. The old lady runs a pile of dead grass down Grant's face. He trembles and bites his lip. She gently nibbles Grant's ear. He is in heaven. One of her teeth falls out. The old lady shows Grant how to make the come-hither fingering motion. <laughs> then she puts his fingers into one of her arm wounds, and he fingers it. Oh my God. They are making love. <laughs> it is gentle and sweet. She's on top of Grant. He grips her back as they have sex. A chunk of it comes off. Grant is on top of her and starts to increase the speed of his thrusts. He's holding one of her legs in the air. It bends all the way back and then sort of comes off a little. Grant climaxes. He moans. She climaxes. Ghosts fly out of her mouth. <laughs> they lay face to face on the pillow. Grant reaches out and touches her cheek. Her eye falls out. Grant shows her Bob's <laughs> burgers on his laptop. She shows Grant a video of a dog decomposing on her Book of the Dead. <laughs> they are singing a little song as she plays the ukulele. The camera pushes in and finds their faces. They're truly happy. Oh. The camera pulls out and the ukulele has turned into a fetus that she's somehow playing. It's morning. <laughs> They're back in the bathroom. She's standing next to the tub. She looks at the tub, then back at Grant. He's pained, but he's smiling through it. She touches his face once more. She lays down in the tub and puts her face under the water. We see again from Grant's perspective as she slowly closes the curtain. He turns and leaves the bathroom. As he closes the door, he notices a bit of her skin stuck to his clothes. He touches it to his cheek, sighs and walks out. Oh my the god. End.
Oh my! And God. I don't know why we didn't make it. <laughs> I, I I'm at a loss as to why we didn't make that sketch. I just kept so hearing I... that song from The Naked Gun, like woke up this morning feeling. I don't know if we're allowed to say. Yeah, yeah, I know that's all I can sing, but you know what I mean. It's just like you know a lot of the turf. So Grant, I mean, we can go through. Sure. You know, yeah, I think. Um, it was sort of like a softcore porn a little. Sure. And uh, maybe it was a tad light on like um, like game. Plot and yeah, dialogue. Yeah, like where did you Everything. get like, where do you get like this shit, this like shit? Like where do you get this film. shit? Um, I'm a mess psychologically. Mm-hmm. And I think that's, uh, that's kind of yeah. where a lot of this comes. Yeah. Huh. I have a lot of issues mm-hmm. uh, around, you know, being seen as a sexual object. Yeah, and yeah. so I try and uh, uh, yes. force the issue um, rather than just I let it be. I have a question. Yes, please. Would you have... Film actually done this. Yeah, yeah that is my true. question. Absolutely. You would have. Oh, really? definitely. Made the sketch or had sex with a with a, a ghost. Yes. Uh, a ghost, ghost lady. lady. I mean, woman yeah, I'd, I'd have I'd have filmed the sketch, and if I if I found myself in this situation, I might also do all those things in real life if mm. that were to happen. And yeah. Even if like her back, I, I honestly I admire that you'd still be interested even if like her back was coming off. I don't sure. know what that even means. Uh, well, so in my imagination, <laughs> it's her shoulder blade, and then I can see her ribs. Huh. Um, Ugh, you pig. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wrote that. Uh, we, you wrote that, and we had no idea that's what you were coming in with. I remember you pitched something about like, oh, I like get with the old lady in the bathtub kind of thing. We're like, okay. And then we, you come in with this, and we're like, what is fucking going yeah. on? Time's up, Grant. You know what I mean? Like, we, well, now, wait a minute. Cause, because in The Shining, yeah. that is a seminal scene. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yes. And f- quite true. frankly, I think the series is poorer for not having uh, uh, this contribution to it. I think there could have been an old lady in a bathtub scene. If I had to tweak this sketch, sure. and, you know, there aren't many tweaks uh, to do. I, I no. don't know what you'd offer, but uh, please. I might, yeah, I might. And yeah, insert some more game moves. That's what I might do. Now, what about when the old lady was playing a fetus? So, yeah, I guess that <laughs> mapping did jar me. I was jarred. Mm-hmm. I, I, as yeah. a as a director too, I was imagining going yeah. to the prop person saying we need a fetus guitar. Yeah, like that's what I was. A, a fetus yeah. ukulele. A fetalele. Which yeah. is oh, that sounds like it's made of poop. A fetalele. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like that fe- sounds fecal, like it's fecal a. Fecal a. Um, <laughs> But uh, like but I, I can also imagine that you know that conversation with the proper person. Maybe do you have a vacuum sealer? Can we get a mold right. of, a fe- of a little baby or sure. a little, sorry fetus? And then um, you know attach strings from its head to its toes. I bet I know, a I lot be, of I could be strumming that right. uh, or the umbilical cord. I do think a lot of your fans, that? Grant, would have loved to see this. Uh, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listen, Grant Grant heads out there. Uh, tweet at Reka Shankar uh, so, uh, and let her know uh, how bad you want to see this alone. sketch. I mean, you can do it. We can can't make it. I bet. I bet we can. Still not making it. Would be crazy to make it two years later. I don't think yes. so. Why don't, you do, why don't you do this? Tweet at Rekha Shankar, tweet at Mike Trapp, and tweet at Sam Reich. And tell them how bad you want to see this sketch. How bad you want to see Grant fuck a pile of skin. Uh, uh, heaven. There Ooh. is, we made a sketch a few years ago um, that Mike Trapp wrote about uh, going on a date with a fast food burger. Yeah. And at the end of it, I'm having sex with a sub sandwich. Yes. Uh, and that had to be taken off YouTube because yes. the sex was so graphic. It yes. was disgusting. It was pretty Truly. gross. Um, I don't know why because that was that was realistic sex. Katie, maybe that's maybe that's It was on you. with a sandwich. Uh-huh. That's why it was How disgusting. big of a sandwich were you talking about? Like a six Like a party sandwich. It was honestly, party when I, I saw it, I, my did. I did scream at my desk. Sure. It was so graphic. But did YouTube, did the community tell you to remove the The, the entire community fucking? of comedy yes. told us to remove it. The we comedy like, world got said, it. this has <laughs> gone too far. John Candy was like, you've got it. Yeah. 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 You must. Yeah. John Candy would be great casting for That's this lady. That's absolutely John Candy right. would be terrific casting. Yes. I'm Uncle Buck. See, yeah, we can yeah. probably get him. Uh, who else? Oh. Philip Seymour Hoffman would be good oh. casting. All right, all right, all right. All right. Happy We're taking a turn birthday. here. birthday. <laughs> We're taking a little turn. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun, dumb sketch. Now I'm still thinking about who'd be really good casting for that old lady. Um, Sam Rockwell. Um, Sam Rockwell is is terrific. You can mm-hmm. also just do, you know, Craigslist casting. I think there's a lot of people who just kind of do an open like, mm-hmm. hey, we got 50 bucks. There's we a tub. We've uh, got, we found 50 bucks. A couple black magic <laughs> design 200 cameras, people would still submit. Absolutely. Yikes. Absolutely. I'll Yikes. drive from Connecticut. I know you're shooting in LA. Like, it's a lot of that. Yes. Horrible. Um, Horrible. Great. Well, I mean, you know. 
Yeah. Great. It's, I mean, I'm proud of that sketch. No, it's a very beautiful short film. Remember, tweet at Rekha Shankar. Oh. Hey. Tweet at Mike Trapp, Tweet at Sam Reich and tell them how bad you want to see this. Yeah. We can still make it happen. With There's no reason not if, to. If, I can't think of any you know reason what? not to make it now. If 300 people sign up for Dropout when this podcast airs, we'll make it. That, yeah. that is a challenge. That's a, <laughs> that I like. That's a promise. If, if. Yeah. All right, great. I'm holding you to that. 300. I have no control over any budget. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign up 300 times. Yeah. I'm gonna make 300 burner oh, accounts. Yeah, you pay, but you have to go past the free trial. For a CH2 tote bag, I'll fuck a sandwich. <laughs> a deal nobody asked. <laughs> Josh, oh, sorry, did you? Do uh, it. Okay, a six is your party sub. <laughs> I would love to see. I'd love to see the video. Like when when we made, you know, years ago, there was a Hans Gruber sketch. They had to take off because you know, Die Hard. They just wouldn't keep it on YouTube, and you get to your your sandwich fucking gets to make it up. I mean, it gets yeah. time. Is there anything from from your college oh, days? Yeah. Yes, I'll tell you. you would have gotten made. Give it. Give it. Oh, oh, I'll tell you one that did get made. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. And one that did get made and exists on a private link somewhere and never got up and you'll know why quite quickly. It was oh, called okay. Cowboy Up. And I think it was written by Dan Gerwich, and it was um, it was about a cream. This is like a real. Cream? It was a cream that you could rub on your hand if you're a parent, and and slap your kid in the face with it to get them to cowboy up to calm down if they're being a little built little jerk or if they're crying. So there's also a version of it where the parents could rub the cream on a belt and hit their kid with it. Oh, so it was like my a Lord. child abuse sketch where yeah. that yes. I directed, and there was but like you made it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah we directed and then like I think I think our, our old boss at the time saw it and was like we just can't but we had everything like it started as like a normal normal like commercial yeah. mm. you know uh, sort of parody like hit, like cowboy up and they put like the cream on the hand yeah. there'd be like a star wipe and slap the kid one yeah. kid was like my turtle died and he's holding up like a fake turtle and yeah. the dad wipes cowboy up on yeah. the kid's face and the turtle flies across the room but it eventually <laughs> got to the point where like the dad's silhouette filled a, a, like a darkened doorway mm. <laughs> he just Ooh. put it on a belt like we made like like How did it get that far? A child abuse p cream parody, I guess you could say. Uh, and it was so funny. I it think that's fan. funny. It was, it <laughs> was hysterical, I but everybody thought it was like... want to see it. it it's, yeah. I, I bet I could find the link somewhere. I really would like to see it. I bet I could I bet I bet could dig. I don't know But I could see... I, I understand But you can imagine. Yeah, the, absolutely. Yeah. Do you have a favorite sketch that you wrote that didn't get greenlit? Uh, oh, God. I would have to really do. Yeah, I mean, tons, tons. They were all really niche. I really wanted to do. Uh, I don't know if you can say Bruce Springsteen, but there was one. You know, he says, "Oh, I'm on fire." Yeah. And I just wanted to do one where he was on fire the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there was like, I think another one, uh, uh, "Here and Day Go By," but I wanted to be like, like the Talking Heads, like "Here and Day Go By." You know what I mean? So <laughs> I know. And I, that was about where it died. Here and Day Go By. It's a bog planet. You know what I mean? No one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, but Star Wars. Like I'd be really pissed about it so. yeah uh, i think that's great I love that. <laughs> there were there were some pretty we had some dark uh, bad sketches mm. I'll, I'll just say flat like there was some really weird we would do some bad stuff not me yeah i've never read one of those yeah yeah uh, some just like questionable yeah yeah we the, were just taught we were just talking about a sketch i wrote that it, it, it wasn't funny but that i wrote for therapeutic reasons when it looked like roy moore was going to win his senate yeah. seat in alabama yeah, sure uh, yes. I, I wrote it just roy moore's first day in the senate and he had just like cheerleaders and and uh -huh. little girls uh -huh. coming into his uh -huh. office uh -huh. and it wasn't funny it was it, no, was a, it was sad. It was tragic. Yeah. 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 But sometimes, hey, you know, comedy and catharsis. And catharsis. And catharsis. And sometimes there's no comedy. <laughs> just catharsis. Sometimes it's just catharsis. Sometimes it's, you know, it's just, uh, uh, you know, middle sex. I don't something. think I have a, a sketch that I regret. That's writing. good. Have you ever done Truly. anything that you regret in your life? <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, wow. I honestly don't have a ton of regrets. Yeah, in my I, life. I, just I think really too don't. much yeah. about my decisions. What about sketches that you wrote that you were so passionate about and like a little peeve that they never got made? Yes, that has definitely yes. happened. Absolutely. Yes, That's for sure. That's the story of any writer's life. Yeah. Sure. There, yeah, and I still have some of them in my like email. Uh, like in my inbox uh -huh. and with like a label like to rewrite mm -hmm. and I'm like yeah. this will get made yes <laughs> but yes there's yeah. like the five that you like, yes it one is day probably five sketches one so I'm day like I these will are fuck too that good old to tub lady. Yeah, yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> um well 
to kind of close out the pod, we have some questions from our Discord users. Cool. Um, so this one comes from... I hope Col- they're not too discordant. Oh, God. Oh, my Are we going to sit for a... Uh, 20 minutes of silence. <laughs> uh, this one goes from Colby Jack. Uh, they say, any advice on developing creatively slash finding an outlet when you are an aspiring comedy writer stuck in a nine-to-five job for income? Uh, I mean, I think... No. Uh, 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 yeah. No. <laughs> you're you're, no, you're no, fucked. No yeah. Right. There's nothing. Well, um, especially if you uh, want to be a writer rather than a, rather than a performer, that's the kind of thing that you can do on whatever schedule. Yes. Um, yeah, you, you have to write a lot. Yes, you have to write a lot. And when I was working nine to five, I used to work in like post production. And when I was working nine to five, I would frequently write entire articles while I was working mm-hmm. that job. I would be submitting to like Reductress and McSweeney's mm-hmm. and all that stuff on the clock. Cause there was downtime. Just make good use of that downtime. Mm-hmm. Don't let the like depression and the fog, which is easier said than done of the nine to five. If you hate it, make you feel like, mm-hmm. you know, catatonic about the things you actually like to do. Cause then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you that, should be uh, that, saving your energy for what you like. Yes. Yeah. Don't let it don't let that completely take over. Yeah. That's such a good question because my experience has always been people always ask, like, how if you're an actor, if you want to make something, whatever, I always say, just go shoot something, but I've mm-hmm. never heard that or thought about the if you're a writer and you want to be a writer thing, because my yeah. first inclination would be to write something and you know put it up on a, like a Google link on mm-hmm. your website or something, or share an article. Would you do that? Uh, yeah, like share I mean, something you wrote on like you know a blog or for something? for like stuff that was rejected. Because I the f- many first times I submitted to a doctor as mm-hmm. I was rejected, I would just write it up on my Tumblr and mm-hmm. post it, and no one mm-hmm. looked at it. Like mm-hmm. two people looked at it, but it was at least like an exercise. Yeah, and then Twitter's a real thing. Twitter is That's a good like a tra- real joke platform. Scouts, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had like a blog. Yeah. before I because yeah you just have that like need to write something and mm-hmm. get it out there so mm-hmm. that was definitely like yeah a similar type thing like it wasn't going anywhere no one was reading it but it was just like you got it good out to write it yeah it was and, good to be mm-hmm. funny online and and then you have a record of it in case like you're like I want to go back to that idea at least no one owns it I yes, can link exactly uh and I think too uh learning how to make your own stuff like I was lucky enough I went to film school so like being able to empower myself mm. and make my own shit and I worked in editing was like extremely helpful and like I would it was a lot of work because you're going to your nine to five and then coming home and working more but yeah. ideally it's like energizing work mm-hmm. um, a lot of film people a lot of directors aspiring directors and, and filmmakers are dying for writers yeah dying to team up with someone to come yeah, yeah. yeah that's Just true try, yeah that's like a thing yeah, yeah find yeah, people yeah find find yeah. a little community surround and yourself for, for me i didn't come from i was like gonna work in finance mm-hmm. so i don't i don't have like the post-production experience or like I, I didn't work in production or anything but yeah like just taking like uh comedy classes and that would be i'd have i had an uh 10 to 6 job mm-hmm. and i would just you know spend time afterwards just yeah. immediately driving to like classes or take them on the weekends yeah um, but yeah, I feel like it, if it is really a nine to five, like you, that still gives you time, a lot of time to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Especially if you do find people, it feels a little less isolating and like taking yeah. those classes, like you will just meet people and like, mm-hmm. again too, it's all a process. If you like come out of it being like, I took my first class and I didn't find my people, like you're going to be yeah. miserable. Just mm-hmm. like, no, like 10 years down the line, yes, like, absolutely. you'll have something from Yeah. That. It's like a long term thing. I think that is a good point yeah. too. It's like there's, it's probably going to be on a longer time horizon than you are comfortable with yes. at the moment. Mm-hmm. It's yes. going to take a while. Exactly. <clears throat> Just don't look for an immediate gratification. Yeah. And what will drive you crazy is that it won't take a while for some people. Yeah. Like some people are, it's just going to work out for them right away. Yes. Yep. There are going to be people that don't need to have nine to fives yep. and, can, and, and can dedicate themselves entirely to working creatively. I got creatively. hired on late night for 15 years for this tweet. Yeah. And, yeah. Exactly. and those are the people that, that people yeah. are going to write articles about too and they're yeah. going to get the most buzz so you're going to think that's like, oh fuck, I didn't do that but it's like in reality that's the exception to the rule no mm-hmm. one's writing about the 45 year old writer who slogged for like 25 years yes. and yeah. then finally got their break mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah. more typical yeah. Yeah. you just have that to kind happens. of be prepared to wait <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, and then there's always, you know, like a 30 under 30 article come out. And Dear God, don't look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. Like, even just those lists, like, literally some of those lists are just someone being like, I am tasked to write this. Mm. I'm going to write about my friends and I'm going to ask my mm-hmm. friends for recommendations. Like, mm-hmm. don't take any of that shit too seriously. It's really nice if you've gotten that. I don't want to, like, take away from that. Yes. But... 
if, also, if you're watching, um, thank you for, for joining us. Oh, my God, a 30 under 30? Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Okay, fuck what we were saying before. God. You're popular and cool. <laughs> It is funny that most of those articles do have at some point. There's like, yeah, you know, my dad, you know, my, when my dad helped me, you know, mm -hmm. get you know, my oh, dad. Yeah, yeah. No. That is almost always the it secret ingredient always, in yeah. early successes. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to work oh for money. Oh, my God. You could like, just, you just had money. Even just oh, like you. speaking of money, like student yeah. loans and shit. Like you never know what people have going on oh, behind yeah. the scenes that works against them or for them. Mm -hmm. And like, so please don't like beat yourself up yeah. about your timeline. Yeah. Totally. You, it, it, you'll feel like you have to work harder than other people who you see getting the things you want. Yes. And you mm -hmm. probably will. That yes. is that just will happen. Mm -hmm. There is somebody who said though that if you if you work hard, if you legitimately do fill the yes. off hours or even the in between hours with you know with with work, it's that ten thousand hours thing. Yeah. The inevitability of the Truly. tectonic universal shit, it will you will get yeah. seen found whatever. Because people will be like I remember actually Adam Newman is a comedian used to work college humor Newman. who would stay <laughs> Uh, I, I would be like, Adam, you slacker. You're always wearing sweatshirts and your hair is always uh, kooky. Yeah. And you look like, you know, you, 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 you stayed up all night. But he did. He, he, the college humor day would be done mm -hmm. and after he had his nine to five. And then he would wait around for an hour and a half. He'd, have, he'd eat at his desk. And then he'd go do five open mics. Yeah. And Jesus. then within a well, year, doing a Adam. Job. <laughs> yes. And Adam was on Letterman within yeah. a year or something like that. And yeah. that, that was, that's 10,000 hours at work. And he like, was, definitely yeah. take care of yourself. But there is is just like it's it's about finding that balance between yep. like yeah push hard for the shit that really matters to you like if you're a stand up like going to those mics yeah, whatever if yeah. you're a writer if you're same a thing with writing yeah, yeah. take care of stuff right yeah. so, oh, and when something you just said too yeah. that I, I th made me flash on this is you you do have to do this is we keep piling on things you have to do yeah but you also have to live a life outside of that writing is things. worth yeah. commenting yeah. on yeah, that the, you can write about the grossest type of person. And if this is you, I do mean offense. Are the people that are like, I'm an actor and all I do is act and all I talk about is oh. acting and all I know is acting and I'm only friends with actors and I'm only friends with people that can yeah. get me acting gigs. It's yeah. like yeah. the worst type yeah. of yeah. person. You got to bartend and talk to people if you're going to write yes. about people like that, you know what I mean? And or whatever. Work I, at Best Buy. And again, don't Buy. even look like, because like I know, I don't know, there are some people who are like really studious about that. They're like, okay, so I will get a weird job so that then I can come. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mm. Chill out. Yeah, yeah. Live your life. Yeah. Do things you like don't look for like the way you can relate it back to your career that's like, it yeah do, yeah do things you like then write about them exactly yeah. if you like yeah. cooking like go fucking cook don't yeah. look for live, an end goal live a little yeah exactly go to Angeles like, National Forest see a bear yeah. write yeah. about it see like that a kind bear of shit. then write the bear yeah. how do you think the revenant happen? happen you're gonna see a weird park <laughs> ranger and have a conversation with him and that'll be your web series exactly when your brain is like at rest is when you'll like kind of naturally yes. synthesize cool ideas give and take babies yeah and then you have to write. And then there's, and then yeah. there's like, and then it's. And step 100, write. <laughs> right. You have to write. <laughs> um, cool. Hopefully that wasn't a horrible answer. But yeah, hopefully it wasn't a bummer. But it's possible it was, <laughs> yeah. right? We all have to admit that. Our possible. dad will like will tweet about it, like when you like our dad, like yeah. when you pop that article out, like yeah. our dad. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, we have one more question from Hayden the Narc, and they asked, if you could be any animal for a day, oh. what would you be, and what would you do while you were that animal? Aww. Okay. Let's think. Any animal for a day. I mean, it's like I'm in a bird, and I'm flying a bird. Bird. Yeah, bird. Yeah, bird. It's like, okay, we get that out of the way. Fly. We all know we want to fly. Okay, okay bird, 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 bird. We know fly. Okay, bird. But, 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 what kind of bird? You know. Like. <laughs> I, on the weekends during the summer, will a lot of times do open water swimming in the ocean. <gasps> He's gonna uh, fish. And I will be very afraid <gasps> of getting fish. attacked by a shark oh. while I'm doing that. And so I would be a shark so I could get in their head yes. and know mm. that when I turn back into a human, like I'd know how to bob and weave once God. the sharks came. Sharks would be such great fucking writers. Yeah, sure. they have such cool experiences. You know why? Because they can't stop swimming or they'll die. You Correct. just have to keep living. You just have They're to keep living. constantly keep Malcolm living. Gladwelling. Wow, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. I like that. So I'd be a shark. Oh, okay. That's a good one. That's, that's a really good. good one. I'm very talented. There's a band-aid on the floor over there. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, that's beautiful, Katie. Katie, Thank you. Katie, don't dodge. <laughs> What's your animal? That's a dodge. I know. Um, I would be a band-aid. I mean, truly, I do think it would be obvious. This is like the most obvious, but I do think it'd be incredible to soar in the skies and mm-hmm. like see mountains and like yeah. forests from above them. Um, so uh-huh. I do think I'd choose a, a bird. bird. Yeah. I do. What kind of bird? Um, well, I love owls, so I was think, but I, I think also like a vulture, something that is predatory, not going to be preyed on. Mm. So I wouldn't be like a little sparrow or like um, a hummingbird. An owl's a noble one. You yeah, I feel head like can uh, around. Yes, I feel like owls are very, and they have long legs. They can lift up their skirts. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And they're just like, like, a, like little, a lady a in my sketch. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like like a honestly, dame. that's true. A flash of creepy owl ankle. <laughs> huh. They're like guts. It's like just yes. forty yeah. feet. And they're just all beautiful, folded. beautiful legs. Mm. Huh. What about a peregrine falcon? Fastest Ooh. animal in the world. That'd that be cool. would be cool. That'd be yeah, fun. that'd be awesome. That's a good because I was gonna say like to like not have the same answer. Is like maybe a really fast animal would be cool, like a cheetah or something. Mm. That seems like the best of both worlds. Yeah, honestly. Peregrine falcons, I believe. Uh, Grant the, went to bird camp. W- I did go to bird camp. <laughs> that's actually a joke. Is that when, true? When I was in high school, Long I went time. to the best <laughs> academic public high school in my hometown, Bragg, and I was the, uh, the uh, they sent the best male and female um, science oh, students. So uh, weird. The, the, yeah, that is the strange. The Columbus Audubon Society sent, sent the top two there uh, 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 to a bird camp in Maine on Hog Island. Uh, which Hog was in, Island for bird camp. For bird camp. It was incredible. I don't particular. Is this a Wes Anderson movie? This is yes. true. This is true. <laughs> I don't particular. I didn't particularly like birds. I still don't. I think they're fine. Uh, but I spent the whole week birding with a bunch of bird nerds, and it was bird great. Nerds. It was great. <laughs> There's someone on Discord named the Bird Nerd. Uh, if who, you're a bird nerd, get at us on the Discord <laughs> in right. our new Bird Nerd channel, where Grant only updates you with bird nerd facts. For a CH2 tote bag, my dad. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that Paris Peregrine falcons, when they're mating, mate in the sky. Oh, wow, yeah, I'm dude. that. I want to try that. And they, yeah. and I think they, I want to be And they do well. it, you know, they have to fall while they're mating. Hell and, yeah. And if they're not done, they'll just <gasps> hit the ground and die. That's not true. I think that's, that's true. true. I, think that's that's, I think that's the truth. That's a thrall I'm willing to take. Another uh, answer is also like a penguin. That peregrine falcons. Like I was thinking penguins, penguins yeah, as well. Penguins cool. are or also just swim. so cute. You know, All those birds flightless like birds. Great if I could be anything, uh, I'd be yeah. a bird that has to walk. Shut no. Uh, I would just be a bird. A They'd bird. all be great I'd be a flamingo riders. so I could stand on one leg and never fly. Or I could eat all endless great riders. salmon or shrimp. What is it they eat? I think it's shrimp. Great. <laughs> They'd all be great writers. You know, they're, 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 <laughs> all these birds would be great writers. What would, Flamingos you, what are would that your color animal be? Because, because they eat shrimp. Yeah. I would. I, I kind of like the idea, you know, run through the park, see some gophers. I like the idea of being a little creature that can just yeah. dig a bunch of tunnels. Squirrels? I think that's cool. Bull? They're. I think they're go- oh, gophers. Oh, you want to be a yeah, gopher? Like, like a yes. little, little go- oh, gopher. You it. pop your little, little cute ass head up. Mm, and they then are when someone adorable. sees you, you can just go they back down. They are really down. cute. They're little, real little cute. cute bodies. Yeah, and they freak you out. At first, you're like, is that a snake? No, it's a cute it's a ass cutie. gopher. That's yeah. nice. Not a hedgehog. Not a. And people use gophering to describe poop that comes in and out of your ass. Correct. I thought that was turtling. Prairie, prairie dogging. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think it's both. Groundhog. Yes, I definitely dogging. heard prairie dogging. You're sticking your little head out of your whoa, shell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice shooting, Tex. Wow. <laughs> wow, you're fingering a very large asshole, Grant. You know, like in my sketch, like in the sketch that I wrote, but huh. it's, it's a wound but, but on that her was, arm. But that was a wound on an old sure. woman's arm. Here, fingering her. more like that. Hayden yeah. the Narc, I have a follow-up question for everyone. Is there an animal you would never want to be? Hmm. Something mean. A plankton. A penguin. What are you talking about? You want to be a penguin? But Pe- penguins are. Oh, it's adorable. a bird that can't fly and has to live in Antarctica. But I, it can. What are, you, what are you out of your mind? But it can. It can live there, and that's cool. It's not. It's and like, it can swim. I, I can live there. You can live in Antarctica really right grand. now. You have I an aversion to community. They're all about community. They get together and, and huddle. And they smell like shit. They, they do. They smell <laughs> awful. They they, they can't fly, weird. and they have to live in the freezing cold. And you only like p- things that know how to do things. And they're bound to their children. It's like they can't get away from their kids. Moms. <laughs> else they die and shit. Um, I think cow. I would have to. I would not want to be a cow or a pig because I feel like people only eat eat them. Eat them and like they're so cute and they're kind of abused and like yeah. yeah, So I feel like cow, chicken, pig. Yeah, chicken, pig. Any of those. They're not abused. They live with the Amish and it's like come on. Oh yes. You know what I mean? I want to sit for every once in a while. I don't want to be a snake because they're fucking gross. 
Yes. Yeah. And I, I want so arms. Gross. If I could be a snake with arms, maybe. But a lizard. You, can, lizard. you, can, you want to be a lizard. Uh, there there go. Go. <laughs> you can tempt Eve into eating the apple. I don't want to have huh. anything to do with Eve. <laughs> I, I know you guys have Yeah, Eve. they got in a fight. <laughs> Rick and Eve. Uh, there's some joke no. to be made about, have to. about the, the Bible. About the about a missing rib. I mean, McRib. Should we should should you we go there? Well, I mean you already fingered the wound. Yeah. I'm gonna give uh, if if we have a minute of silence, I'll, I'll I know I'll think of it. We can have thirty seconds of silence. Okay. So it's a um the okay, he's missing a rib. Uh she was made out of his rib. Hmm. Um he was tempted by a ser- she was tempted by a serpent to eat an apple. Might have also been a pomegranate. Uh, I wonder if there's not. Uh, oh! And that's it for the pol- college yes! podcast. It's the college podcast. The college podcast. podcast. Hollywood well, podcast, baby. <laughs> I mean, if you have a punchline to Grant's joke, please tweet at Grant O'Brien. Uh-huh. And if you want to see an awesome sketch, tweet at Rick Shankar. <laughs> And tweet at my dad for a CH2 tote bag where you too can be at the top 10 and Forbes list. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, if you want to catch this podcast a little bit earlier than the people who watch it on CH2, please subscribe to Dropout. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial today. Uh, thank you all so much for listening. Thank you guys. For thank the you. Thanks, Bye. everybody. It's me, child actor Katie Marefish. If you like college humor and you want to support us, sign up for Dropout. For the low price of a pack of animal stickers per month, you'll get videos like this a whole week sooner to chat with us live on the Dropout Discord. And exclusive content such as full episodes of my big girl show, The Rank Room. Invisible identical twin. <laughs> What's your question? How do you know, How they're, do you know identical? they're identical? <laughs> they're invisible. Sign up for your free trial today. Okay, I all done. I want my mommy now.